Hey there, my fellow wolves of the crypto pack. It's Alpha Wolf here, ready to dive into the wild world of cryptocurrencies. Today, we're going to explore what happens when you send crypto across different blockchains. So let's gather around and discuss how our wolf pack can master this digital forest. Meet Harry, a savvy crypto wolf who wants to send some of her hard-earned coins to his friend, Jake. Harry holds crypto on both the Bitcoin and Algorand blockchains. He decides to send Jake a coin on each network. Now, what do you think happens behind the scenes? Well, for starters, Harry's transactions must be validated before the coins reach Jake. But are the transactions validated the same way on both blockchains? The short answer is no. The long answer is that these two blockchains use different consensus mechanisms, which is basically a system that cryptocurrencies use to validate transactions. Let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin uses a consensus mechanism known as proof of work or POW. To validate transactions, this mechanism employs computers, also known as miners, which compete to solve a complex computational puzzle. These miners are like the lone wolves, each trying to outsmart the other. When a miner solves the puzzle, the block of data is deemed valid and is added to the blockchain. The first one to solve the puzzle gets rewarded with network coins like Bitcoin. However, proof of work isn't without its flaws. The difficulty of the puzzle increases as more miners join, which means these wolves need high-end computer hardware to stay competitive. This makes mining expensive and ironically centralizes a lot of the computing power. Plus, the energy consumption of mining large cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is incredibly high. It's slower and less scalable compared to other consensus mechanisms. This is why Ethereum, another major player in the crypto forest, has moved away from POW to POS with Ethereum 2.0. Now let's howl about Algorand, which uses proof of stake or POS. In POS, the validation of new blocks depends on the number of coins being staked. The more coins a wolf has staked, the higher their chances of being picked as a validator. Imagine our wolf Jake gets picked to validate a block containing Harry's transactions. Jake. Staked coins are locked as collateral ensuring he performs his job flawlessly or else his stake could be slashed. If he successfully validates the transactions, he's rewarded. Proof of stake brings some fairness as validators are randomly selected. It's also much more scalable than proof of work chains, but it has its own set of challenges. POS tends to favor the wealthy wolves since the more coins you have, the more voting power you hold, making it more likely to validate and earn more coins. This can lead to a situation where a few whales dominate the network. POW and POS are just two types of consensus mechanisms in the crypto world. There are many others out there like Solana's proof of history, BitShares delegated proof of stake, the chain's proof of authority, and more. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses, just like different strategies in the wild. To sum it up, Harry and Jake's transactions might seem simple on the surface, but the validation processes are quite different depending on the blockchain. Bitcoin's proof of work relies on computational power and is energy intensive, while Algorand's proof of stake depends on the amount of coins staked and is more scalable but can be less decentralized. So, fellow wolves, which consensus mechanism do you prefer? What other ones do you know? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, join the pack by subscribing to our channel, keep howling at the moon, and let Alpha Ton connect you and your fellow wolves.